The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. What's up guys? So, it is February 16th. It is Friday. It is Friday and I've been waiting to do this video for a long time. This is going to be how delivery, how delivery dudes, dudes works. works. Cool, so this is my whip. So this is what's gonna go down when we get to delivery dudes. I'm gonna show y'all what the uh, what it looks like where um, all of the thermals are. So we have mini thermals, we have big thermals, um, and pizza bags, and all of that stuff. So we're gonna go and get that, and then we're gonna have to go into the office, which I may or may not put in, in the video, I'm not sure, but uh, that's where you get um, a pouch, uh, a credit card, a company credit card, and um, a square, which we use the little squares for uh, credit card transactions. And we just recently started stopped using cash, so no one can pay uh, cash as far as the uh, payments go. We can still take cash tips, but that mostly works. Um, most mostly people just um, give you a credit card tip because you can just push it in. But I'll show you all of that. So all the thermals and shit are gonna go back there. Cool, so I usually park over here because the actual like delivery dude's parking lot right here, <clears throat> there's always like a ton of cars over there and it's easier to get out from over there than it is over here. Awesome. How's it going, man? Good, man, how are you? Good, good. All right, so this is this is the thermal room right here. I'm gonna grab one of these, and you want to make sure that there's a pizza bag inside. And there is, so just grab that. And I'm not gonna grab a mini thermal because they're usually up there, but I don't use those anymore. So I'm just gonna put this over here, and then I gotta go grab a pouch and all my other shit. All right, guys, I got my thermal. So here's what I'm gonna do. Like I have a lot of suggestions as far as like how I go about doing all of this, but what I'm gonna show y'all is how to use the pouch. I don't usually use a pouch. I have my own pouch that I use, but um, so I'm just gonna take this and I put the pizza bag. I just put my thermal in like right here. Cool, so I get down here and I grab this. This is my personal uh, pouch that I use and I put it just like right here and it just like uh, hangs down like that but just for the sake of this video I'm gonna use the normal pouch today but if y'all do want one of these which I find kind of a little bit more convenient than these because you can it just it never comes off of you with the, with this I have to like take it in and out of my pocket some people put it in my thermal like uh, they just put it on top of the thermal or whatever I leave this in my pocket but one time I lost this and if you lose it you have to pay back all of the cash that's in it but we don't work with cash anymore okay so if you have like an iPhone 6 or 7 and up or whatever uh, you're gonna need one of those uh, I call them a tail like a tail for uh, for your phone it's like the adapter part this part right here this right here so this will plug in to your square like this and so when you get an order you're going to want to plug it in like this and then that's how you swipe the uh, customer's credit card so there's like a lot of confidential information on on my phone as far as the app goes so i'm gonna have to like cover up addresses and stuff obviously but this is essentially like what what it looks like hold on Okay, so first delivery is Pure Greens, so we're about to go to Pure Greens and deliver it. And so this is what it looks like. So that's the discounted price, and that's the retail amount. So this is the price that we sell to the customer, and this is uh, Delivery Dude's uh, discounted price that we get it for because we've got to make money too. Cash doesn't matter anymore. But this might change when we get to the restaurant, which I'll show y'all. But this is what we're going to be picking up right here so it looks like a i don't even fucking know how to say quana or an earth so if you're anything like me i'm pretty much like directionally challenged and i have to use the gps for everything so luckily within the app you can do this so 
so yeah this is what it looks like so I can click I can just click right <coughs> right here and it shows the GPS location right there and so I can just click this and it will lead you straight to Pure Greens, and we are right next to it. And that's another thing about if you're if you're in the Delray area, especially like Delray, never eat sour water. East, it's parking's a hassle. Parking is a hassle, and so you kind of kind of gotta come up with with your own shit, I guess, and park in places. And sometimes it gets sketchy, and uh, valet can be and stuff. So. Um, yeah, so let's go and walk to Pure Greens and grab this uh, caca bowl or whatever the fuck it is. Alright, so sometimes you gotta walk like a distance to get to where you're going because of parking. So, and I forgot to lock my car. And Pure Greens is right there. Um, any juices with this is uh, more or less what happened in inside Pure Greens, whatever restaurant you're going to or whatever. Uh, I got two different receipts, right? One was the customers and one was the discounted discounted price uh, for delivery dudes. So this is this is what you do. So right here it says Pure Greens. This is uh, discounted retail. So these are the actual prices. So you can see they're a little bit different. And so what you're going to want to do is just uh, fix that 1611 for uh, DD discount. So 1611 and then right here for the retail amount that was 1926 so 1926 1926 confirm right there and uh, you're going to want to pick it so that's what the earth bowl is and you want to make sure that you check the food check the food and make sure that it's right and it was so right there you click that and then you click marked as picked so now that we've uh, we put the, the number in and everything is good, right there, order has been picked. So we're gonna swipe over. So the, after you swipe, you're gonna wanna, uh, you can look at this, and that shows the price for the customer right there. Oh so yeah, the, the address is under the name, and you, you would just click that, and uh, you'd go right here, and you could click the GPS location of where they are. So what you want to do with your uh, two receipts is uh, you can, I would put the uh, retail amount, the customer's receipt in your pocket just in case they want an actual receipt. I mean, it's going to cost more with the delivery fee and taxes and tip and all of that stuff, obviously. But just in case they want it just for the food, I suggest leaving it, leaving it in your pocket. What you want to do with the discounted receipt is put it in your pouch right here. So just like that. And you're gonna to want to do that all day. Save all of the discounted receipts, because at, at the end of the day, you're gonna to have to staple them, put your initials on them, so Didi knows. So they have all of the receipts for all of the orders you took in case something were to happen and they can look back at it. So a lot of the time you're gonna to have to text or call the customer under certain situations like this one. Like, I know the address and everything, but it's like a, kind of like a town center sort of type thing, like a little, big building with a lot of stores in it and so I just wanted to call and see what the name of it was so it'd be a lot easier for me to get there pretty much if I know the name of where I'm going. You can do that by clicking the phone button right here. Awesome so now that now that we're here we're just gonna pull out our, uh, our square. I'm gonna plug it into my phone. I'm gonna bring up the DD app and there's a money sign right here. I'll I'll show y'all when I when I get back. I'm gonna go deliver this real quick. All right, so this is what happened. Obviously, I brought my thermal into the place I was delivering it to. So sometimes uh, the customer has a free delivery, like a free delivery card that we used to give out and everything. We might still do it. Um, or if there's like a confronta confrontation and uh, we owe them money, they owe us money, vice versa, whatever. We might give them a free delivery fee. So it's like it's five dollars off. So what that looks like. 
if you if you did have to do that is you would click right there apply and so it took off let's take it off and so this is what you do when you uh, get in front of the customer you say charge and it opens up your square and it tells you how much it is and so you take this and you swipe the card and uh, it'll bring up it'll bring up a screen that has uh, three choices as far as tips go four uh, it's like 10 15 and 20 or so, something like that and it shows it shows the percentage and uh, how much of the tip they'd be giving and the total after everything and uh, also there's also um, a fourth slot where they can type in whatever tip they want like 100 bucks which would be really nice but has happened to me like we get really good tips here in South Florida uh, sometimes yeah that's uh, that's essentially how it works but we're, we're gonna run through some other ones to complete the order so you're gonna want to uh, after uh, swiping and doing the transaction with Square Square usually reopens the DD app uh, delivery dude app and so you're gonna go back over here and uh, where the money sign is that's how you opened up right here to see all of that stuff so you're just gonna want to click the arrow click it again and we are done and it says no cur current orders and so when you do get an order it'll pop up and it'll give you a notification and then we can uh, take this and uh, some people put it in their pouch I just leave it in in my pocket just because it's more convenient to get in and out so I kind of forgot to introduce myself I am Jake Jake McCollum and uh, I've been working for delivery dudes for probably maybe almost a year on and off this is honestly and truly like one of the funnest and coolest jobs ever I've worked for three other delivery companies one in Dallas Texas that and Domino's I'm local in Texas Sherman Texas where I used to live they have their own delivery service called Texoma delivery and uh, this is just nothing compared to delivery dudes just no, I, I like the way that they do things here I guess compared to all of the other places while in the process of getting another order I was trying to fill up my e-cig juice and the bottle exploded all over this camera so I'm a little bit pissed right this second we just got another order for Cafe Martier and so that's around how much it's gonna cost and it's a chicken avocado and braai lunch salad and a falafel appetizer there's all different types of shit going on over here that's where I usually would park but I can't and so again parking is a huge issue but there's a car pulling out right here so that is where I'm gonna park and then I'm gonna have to walk around the corner and go this way and I'll be there so I've got a I've got a fucking hurry oh god I am all sticky it looks like I pissed my pants I don't know if y'all can see that um, from the e-cig juice all over my camera my hands are fucking sticky I'm doing like a million things at once filming this vlog working driving trying to find parking spots communicating with people this is actually really fun yeah, hello. It's a, it's a fast process um, getting the food, handing them the credit card for them to swipe, getting your two receipts, um, and typing all the information in, which you usually do like in the restaurant while in the process of getting the food and everything. So, <clears throat> anyways, that. That's what I did when I walked into Cafe Martier. I, uh, I, the prices were right on the receipt, so all of that looked good. So I went here and I clicked the food. I checked the food, made sure I had it, and then usually there's a, a button right here to, that says uh, pick, and you click it, and uh, now the order is picked. I'm gonna swipe over here. I'm gonna click on the address and uh, click right there exit where I was going awesome so I parked over there I got lucky and we are going into these apartments right here and sometimes there's a door code so like this and uh, there'll be instructions on the delivery uh, dude app 
um, sometimes the customer will uh, put instructions on there like a gate code or how to push in to get into the apartment so you can go up or wherever they are and uh, get to the customer and give them their food. Okay, so I easily got to the apart. I mean, the door was open. I didn't have to push in a code. It's usually later at night when they start locking up shit. So, um, I mean, that's for some places, but... So you just click on where you needed to go and go to the customer's place. You uh, grab your square, you plug it in, and then uh, pretty much knock on the door and say this is how much it was when you pop it up on, um, on your square. And let's see, this way. Then you swipe the card and they fill out the information. And then Square will take you back to the DD app where you can complete the order. Yeah, so what I did was I clicked charge. It brought that up. And it brought this up. I swiped the card with my little square and my tail. And uh, yeah, I came up with the screen. And it went back to this screen right here. And so now we can complete the order. And we're done and we just wait for another order. All right, so next order is Gary Rack's farmhouse. All right, so there's that. Oh, fuck. Okay, so when it looks like this, that means that they have the card on file. So you notice that there's not a, a retail and a discounted price. That's because this particular restaurant has our card on file and so they, they, they take care of that themselves. And that is a fat delivery. So, yeah, that, I mean, look at this. This is, this is a, a lot, a lot of food, like all, all that shit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put this on hold for a second. Okay, back, back to filming. So that, that took a second because it was kind of difficult to find the address because sometimes the address isn't accurate and sometimes there's different suits and different numbers. Like if you've ever been a delivery driver, you know that going to apartment complexes, townhouses, all of that shit, it can get a little bit complicated. I've already demonstrated sort of kind of like how to use the uh, the pouch as far as like the thermal and everything but me personally this is this is what I do I grab my I grab my own I'm gonna strap it right here <clears throat> so it looks like this I'm gonna unzip that I'm gonna take the pouch that they give us I'm gonna take all of my receipts and credit card and put it in here. I'm just gonna keep my pouch in my car and not use it until the end of the day. I'll put everything that's in uh, my pouch, I can walk around in and everything, and uh, put everything in here at the end of the day to give it back to uh, delivery dudes because we all get a pouch at the beginning of the shift that they give you uh, that has a certain number on it. And yeah, so for me now, and by the way, if you want to get one of these, I went to a flea market. I think I found that for like $3. So when I go to a restaurant now, I grab a discount and a regular receipt. And if the, if it's on file, they do the same thing. Uh, discount and uh, retail. It makes it easier. I can grab both the receipts, just unzip this, put it in there, zip it back up. Instead of having a, a pouch that uh, is separate and that it is easier to lose. Yeah, so all of that uh, e-cig juice I spilt all over myself earlier, I think it's seeping through. Your seat belt. I think it's seeping through my pants right now, like into my skin because. So I've actually gotten two hundred-dollar orders in a row, but I actually want to show y'all what it's like going into the restaurant and getting the receipts and all of that stuff. I've actually never been here. This is Sal's Italian Restaurante? Restaurante? Mm. Awesome. So they have the card on file, so I don't have to give them my credit card. They're just gonna give me two receipts. Cool, so here's all the food. I'm gonna have to put it in my thermal and then this dude right here is gonna give me the receipts and I'm gonna put those in my pouch right here. So original, discounted, put the discounted one in your pouch. Awesome, thank you man. Is there, wait, is there a side bag for delivery dudes over there? Retail, 
Retail receipt in your pocket. You already have it, Andrew. Then you're gonna wanna what? click I'm gonna hurry. I'm all of the uh, food. You're gonna wanna you. check it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take it better off camera. Cool, so I got all the food and I checked my phone right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I marked everything, made sure that I had everything, and then you're gonna check it all. And then we're gonna swipe over, go to the delivery square, and uh, yeah. Okay, so I just had to pick up uh, an order from Delray Fresh. I picked up just some food. It's back, <coughs> back there. So what I'm doing is I'm having to de deliver to the actual delivery dude's office. So us delivery dudes, we get we get a free delivery charge. Period. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'll show y'all. On top of uh, giving your, giving him a free d delivery, uh, since he's a, he works over there and he's at work and he's at the delivery office, he gets an additional 15% off. So you just subtract that from the total. And you can't just click on, um, on, on the delivery dude app for, for this part. Like as far as like charge, charge square goes because that price right there is wrong. So what you do is you just go to your Square app and uh, type it in yourself. So, check out. So you're gonna type it in right here. And uh, then you click charge and it goes through. And yeah, so for me to post this video, um, just out of pure respect for delivery dudes and because I love it, I'm, I'm gonna have to like show them like the video and everything as far as like an instructional video goes, I guess that's what I'm doing today. I don't know, I was kind of just doing this whole daily vlog thing and just decided to do a how-to video for delivery dudes, but I just got another order for Sazio Express. You gotta make sure if you're working Delray West, never eat, Del sorry, Delray East, that you don't get Sazio Express and Sazio mixed up. Sazio is like fancier and is farther uh, west of the ocean than uh, Sazio Express. Sazio Express is like the hole in the wall version and uh, I don't even know if that's a good way to say it. So a lot of different types of uh, orders that you can get. This one, um, there's nothing really different about it. I just wanted to show y'all um, because y'all have to, you have to make sure you're paying attention to, to what the app is telling you. So I'm getting four turkey avocado wraps and a uh, bag of ice. But if you look down here, it says additional instructions. Make sure you don't miss that because it says I have to uh, get an additional three bags of barbecue chips and four Gatorades. So I just had to call the customer because I'm looking at their selection here at Sazio Express and all they have is Powerade. So I just called them and made sure that that's okay. Cool, so I got, no you're fine, I got the ice from over there, and then I got the, um, the Gatorade from over there, and then you get the receipts from over there. Yeah, so I'm going to go and deliver, I'm in the process of delivering this Sazio Express order now, and I don't know why the f I decided to make this video on a Friday. I'm in the process of delivering that Sazio Express order. Pretty much shown y'all what it's like to take a normal order and uh, something like with additional instructions and everything, but there's more. There's uh, there's like, there's Road Pantry, which is where you have to like go to a gas station, a Walgreens or a Walmart or a Publix or something like that to actually go and get items and stuff because we don't just work with restaurants. We actually... Well, it just depends on what you want delivered to you. We have company credit cards that we can pay for pretty much anything. I'd like to show y'all a delivery with uh, a road pantry involved if if uh, dispatch will give me one. I freaking love delivery jobs because you never know who you're gonna have to deliver to. Like for like for instance, I just delivered probably like this nine year old kid. Uh, he, he comes out with a PS4 controller in his hand. It's just like. Oh, just playing Fortnite or whatever. And I was like, cool, cool. And I like started giving him his food and like he handed me a credit card. And he like looked at the phone and was like, oh, I can give you cash tip. And he, this little nine year old pulls out his wallet, like digs through his cash and just like gives, gives me money. And I'm just like, this, this kid is fucking dope. 
So I was walking away. I was walking away, and he was like, "Hey, get up on that on that Fortnite. I'm gonna beat your ass." I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." Okay, real quick, I wanted to show y'all something. So I just took a delivery for a delivery for Windy City Pizza, and uh, they have card on file, right? So I've already shown y'all what that looks like. So that's what it looks like. But that's not always right. Just because they have card on file and there's an automatic number right there does not mean that that number is accurate. So I'm gonna get out of my look, get in my pouch right here. And so, so Windy City, they just give you one receipt, and you never know. Like depending on what restaurant you go to, it depends on like how many receipts you're gonna get. Like it, it all just depends on the restaurant. It, uh, different restaurants work the different ways. But like this one. Uh, this one they just gave me one receipt and it's just um, it shows the total the retail amount but it also shows what percentage they took off at, as far as the discount for delivery dudes goes you want to put the retail amount right here see if we had an order where um, there was two like the retail and the discount price you would be able to put both but when it's just like on file and there's just one price, you put the retail amount, not the discount price. Okay, this is a, uh, a, good, a good order to show y'all because I'm having to go two different places, but I'm delivering it to one place. So I'm having to pick up a Fratelli's order and a lemongrass order, which is, the, the, that's just two different restaurants I'm having to go to. That's what it looks like. And then of course the drop. And then there's times where uh, you'll get two different deliveries like you'll have to go to one place to get two different orders and drop them off at two different places so like I could go to fucking like McDonald's or something not even McDonald's like uh, El Camino or something and uh, pick up two different orders and then uh, drop one off and then drop the other off it just kind of depends on the timing how big the order is all of that stuff so Okay, so as far as shifts goes, there's an A45 shift, a 1045 shift, and a 445 shift, and uh, also they kind of work with your schedule. Um, a double is working a morning shift and a, and a late shift. That's usually what I do. It's it's laid back. I mean, you work hard when when you are working and you are like taking deliveries and you're working quickly and you're you gotta get shit done. When we don't get any orders, you can chill. Like the office is dope. Like. You can chill there, or go get Starbucks, or just chill. Obviously, it is the next day, but I wanted to throw this clip in here because I wanted to show y'all what it looked like to get um, a road pantry on top of a delivery. So, that being said, that this is what it looks like. So, we've got a firehouse order. And there's the road pantry right right there. So you can go right here, and that says, uh, please pick up two 20-ounce orange fanas and two bags of Funyuns from the shell near blah, 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 blah. Okay? And then uh, then you have to go and pick up this as well, whatever the firehouse order was, which it explains. So um, as far as, like, adding any additional money to the road pantry goes, you don't have to because it's it's that's road pantry. So you just put the, the same amount right here. Now, if it was something other than road pantry, like maybe cigarettes, you'd have to uh, add 25%. So, um, if it was $5, you take $5 times 0.25, and whatever number you get, you add it to $5. All right, so this was kind of a tricky, uh, tricky situation. My card was kind of fucked up. A lot of drivers going through cards and stuff, it makes sense, cards fuck, screw up, you know? Um, so with this, I had to pay for it myself out of, out of my own pocket, which is no big deal, um, for the road pantry. Like, uh, if it was a restaurant, Didi could have called them and been like, yo, we'll pay for it later, but it was a gas station, it's a little bit different. So what I had to do was, I had to get the two fanners and the two uh, Funyuns, right? Well, I went ahead and got myself a Red Bull too. So I just took that off of the total right there, which gave me five five seventy eight. So what you're gonna do is uh, put that right here in the in the road pantry five seventy eight five seventy eight. Do that. Marcus picked, and we are all good. So both of these have been picked now. And then I could swipe over, and then we click on the address, and we go, and we deliver the shit. And we get paid every Wednesday from uh, all of the uh, credit card tips that you get. Every Wednesday. And if you get cash tips, just 
hold on to those. Okay, so sometimes orders get fucked up. One way or another, something happens within an order. So occasionally you get sent a problem order, which I, I just got. So I am on my way to Brew's room right now to go and pick up food to deliver to a customer. And it looks the same on, on the app, it looks the same. Um, but we stay in, in communication with the dispatch, the people on the phone. And so um, they text you uh, on your phone and uh, pretty much kind of let you know what's going on. Same with like uh, if you were to take um, a double stacked order. So say like there you got to go two different places to get food and then you've got to drop those two places that you got food off at, at to those two other places to drop off. Uh, the dispatch would let you know which restaurant to go to first and in which uh, order to take to the house first you know so um, you stay in contact with the, with the people taking the orders on the phone on the on the other end over at the office so what I'm just gonna do with this problem order is just take it to the customer and pretty much give them the food for free and uh, there's no transaction involved no credit cards or anything like that um, so what happens is that arrow that you push to complete the order, you just, you do that for the order. You just figure that out at, at the end of your shift. Because at the end of your shift, you have to go and do numbers. I'll tell you all about that later. Okay, so I took a, a bunch of orders, but nothing really worth, worth filming. So, um, it's about time I got off work. Uh, so, I got my pou pouch back out. I'm still wearing the one I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take everything out of mine and put it in that one. And I'm gonna go inside and uh, I'm gonna clean up my thermal. They have like wet wipes in there that you uh, take the pizza bag out. Um, Cause I'm gonna put it back inside. And uh, yeah, so you just clean off, wipe, wipe off your thermal real quick and uh, put it up. And then uh, you're gonna get on the computer. This is kind of like the tricky part, I guess. Like you have to do numbers, right? So you get on their computer and um, when you first start, you're gonna get a square login, a hot schedules login, and a delivery dudes login. And also you have to have a Gmail account to be able to have the delivery dude shit. After you clean your thermal, you're gonna wanna go and do your numbers. So you log in uh, to your delivery dude. There'll be a set of numbers. So I'm, I'm telling you this because it would be like against against the policy or something to uh, show y'all what's going on on the computers and stuff, especially like in the office and everything. Um, that's why I didn't film anything in the office either. Um, so, um, but wait, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have like a list of all of your deliveries and shit, and there'll be a box, and you'll just you pretty much get on your uh, on your square on your phone and go through all of your transactions. And so, um, everything that you swiped a card on, on on your thing will show up on your phone, and you just go in and uh, it'll it'll say the, the amount of the, the price of the food or whatever, but whatever the customer swiped on your uh, phone um, is obviously gonna be bigger because of a tip, or, or maybe not, and be if they, if they didn't tip you. No tips are not cool. If, if a food costs $44, uh, that's what it'd look like on the computer when you're doing numbers, but you'd type in 46 if they gave, gave you a $2 tip, you know? Um, it says all of that in your in your square, but I'm not, I can't really show you my square either because there's numbers on there too. After you do all that though, and all your numbers add up and everything, uh, you batch every single one, meaning like completed, uh, you batch that that order and you're good you type in your thermal number you type in the uh, the credit card that you used like the number because they give you a, a different company card every every morning or whenever you start your shift and then whether or not you had returned or lost the square because they give you they just give you a square to use too um, and so that that's really about it um, after that you uh, you wait and uh, who's ever uh, batching out in the office you take your pouch to them uh oh yeah with with all your receipts so what's going to be left in your pouch is the credit card 
and your receipts and the square. So what you want to do is you want to take all of your receipts and staple them all together and put your initials. <laughs>